Hi everyone. In this presentation, I will be talking to you about the practical lab. It will span over eight weeks. Each session is about two hours, with forty minutes in the coaching conversation, and the rest of the time will be spent in the debriefing. In general, the practical lab in the advanced training is rather similar to the practical lab in the core training, except. Number one, we will be using the marker as an objective assessment. This will allow students to deepen their understanding on the demonstration of the marker and receive feedback from the supervisors. What's the right way to demonstrate the marker, given the opportunities and the evidence presented in the coaching conversations? Second. You will be coaching someone who have not completed a coach training. This will enhance our students' experience and allow them to be exposed to real-life coaching environment and, as such, increase their capacity to deliver impactful results for their clients. By far, the practical lab is the most. Invaluable learning experience in the advanced training. While the requirements is to attend any of the twelve sessions, I strongly encourage you to attend as many sessions as you can. Now I'm going to talk to you about what needs your attention. Firstly, you are required to invite your client. This client must be someone who has not completed any coach training. In other words. This person is not familiar with the coaching process. It is okay to invite someone who has been coached before, but certainly not someone who has done a coach training program. Secondly, you need to brief your clients properly, explain to them the purpose of them attending the sessions. That is, this is part of the requirements for you to complete your certification training. Number two, let them know that there will be other participants observing the conversations. However, they will not be able to see them during the coaching conversations. After the coaching conversation, your client is invited to leave the room, so that the rest of the debriefing session can be conducted in a safe learning space. Thirdly, let them know that the conversation will be recorded and assessed by the participants, and finally seek their consent. If they agreed, you proceed to prepare your clients by asking them to let you know what's the topic that they like to coach on. You will make the best decision as to whether this topic is suitable and meaningful for the learning sessions. Finally, these are the logistic arrangements that your clients need to prepare. Number one, make sure you provide them with the Zoom URL link, which is the same Zoom link that you're using for the learning lab. Number two, make sure that the clients can they can be fully present and undistracted. Third, make sure that the internet is strong. And fourth, request them to get a earpiece during the coaching conversations. That's all. Thank you for your time.